In this video, we are going to discuss about traditional inter-VLAN routing as one of the ways of the inter-VLAN routing. This traditional inter-VLAN routing is established in such a way that a router is usually connected to a switch using multiple interfaces, one each for one VLAN here. So, the interfaces on the router are configured as the default gateways for VLANs configured on it and also the ports that connect to the router from the switch are configured in access mode in their corresponding VLANs. So, you see here that when a user nodes send a message to a user connected to a different VLAN, the message moves from their node to that VLAN access port that connects to the router and their VLAN here. So, when the router receives the packet, it examines the destined network and the packet destination IP addresses will be will be looked after and after assessing the IP addresses, it forwards it to the correct network using the access port for the destination VLAN here. And if you take here, the switch now can forward the frame to the destination network node since the router changes the VLAN information from the source VLAN to the destination VLAN. In this form of inter VLAN routing, the router has to have a information about the LAN interfaces and the number of VLANs configured on a switch. And therefore, if a switch has 10 VLANs, the router also should have the same number of LAN interfaces. That means, you see the number of VLANs should be having the number of interfaces on the router. So, if you take an example, the same example which we discussed in the inter VLAN routing, you can clearly see the VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 for PCA and PCB are given and you see the IP addresses are 192.168.20.0-24 for PCA and 192.168.30.0-24 for PCB which is in VLAN 30 and PCA in VLAN 20. So, both are connected to a switch through the interfaces FA 0 slash 3 for PCA and FA 0 slash 4 for PCB here and the switch is also connected to the router through the interfaces FA 0 slash 0 1 and if it FA 0 slash 2 here. So, the other two interfaces of router are FA 0 slash 0 and FA 0 slash 1 and if you see that PCA wanted to send the traffic from here to PCB which is in VLAN 30 then you see the VLAN 20 information will be converted or then the message or the tag of VLAN 20 will be converted based on the IP addresses of the destination and sends it to the VLAN 30 which reaches to PCB here. So, we will see about the process here. You see that the PCA in VLAN 20 wanted to send a message to PCB in VLAN 30, the steps it would take are shown below. So, we will discuss about these steps very clearly that PCA would check whether the destination IPv4 address is in the VLAN, if it is not then it would need to forward the traffic to its destined gateway through the, through the default gateway which is the IP address FA 0 slash 0 of the router 1. So, PCA then sends ARP request to AS1 of switch. So, as to determine the physical address of FA 0 slash 0 interface on router 1 here. So, once the router replies then PCA can send the frame to the router as a unicast message. So, here if you receive the ARP message reply then the PCA can send the frame to the router with a unicast message since AS1 has 0 slash 0 MAC address available and it can forward the frame directly to R1 here. So, if you take a consideration of when router receives the frame, it compares it with the destination IP address by referring it to the routing table and it, you know that interface it should get the data towards the destined network. Then the router then sends ARP request onto the interface, then the destination VLAN in this case out of FA01 interface is pushed forward the traffic and this traffic will be received by the PCB of VLAN 30 by having the destination IP addresses configured on it. So, because of this destination IP address is available with the router, it will forward it to the switch to the interface and through the switch interface it will receive by the PCB here. So, this is basic inter VLAN traditional inter VLAN routing. So, that this traditional inter VLAN routing has a 
disadvantage as you see the number of VLANs available, the number of interfaces and routers also should be available so that then only the traffic can be moved forward. We will be dis discussing about the router on a stick in the next video here.